Hello everybody. I'd like to show you how to punch for frosted mat. I have some letters here. They're called the Times New Roman is the name of the font. They're only five millimeters tall. First thing that I need to do is I always need to sink a few single stitches here in order to catch the bobbin. Plus it already makes an underlay for these very small stitches. Um, the biggest problem we have with these kinds of letters are the little feet at the end. So I also do those with manual stitches. And with frosted mat you can get quite a few uh, small details because the thread is a bit thinner than a 40 weight and um, it doesn't shine so you can really get some details with this thread. Now the biggest thing that you have to check for is always the stitch distance. Um, we have it here it's set at a 3 which is normal for frosted mat. Um, if a normal 40 weight thread, you would have to at least have a 4, a, a stitch distance of 4. Okay, and now I complete my letter with my single stitches. Always closest point connection is always the best. And here I want to make these little curves here on these letters, so it's always the trick of making the stitches not too short, but not so long that at least it makes the corner. Now I make the next foot of this letter. Okay, and I want to start the satin stitch again. Here, forget about this little curve, and we just continue on the outer corner here, the outer side. Double point, because I want a corner there. Now on the inside of this letter, I'm going to stop here. I don't want it too thin here, but with frosted mat, you can get thin, thin lines and thin details, because uh, the thread is not so thick. And now I want to add my stitch direction lines, like so. And here I start to curve them a little bit, start to slant them a little bit, because I have this corner in the end point. And that's how easy it is. We just finish up the letter. And there you go. And that's how you punch for frosted mat.